it seems that in light of Christian history, God placed a simple little Scottish bloke in a West African context to change your worldview, your theological viewpoint, and then bring you back out of that West African context into the European context so that it became glaringly clear of a phrase I think that would have to honestly, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that, that you coined and originated the real shift of global Christianity has moved to the South. And that that kind of set the stage for a realization that Africa, Asia, and South America were now in the 20th century the fastest growing emerging Christian force and as you, you clearly were experiencing in the European context, the, the North American and the European Christian force was waning. Would you say that's true and is that, uh, give us some clarity on that whole concept. Well, c certainly I, I think, um, uh, as I said before, the, 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 the contrast was uh, something you felt in your bones. Mm. Um, then the number crunching started, um, you began to look. Uh, I should say perhaps that from uh, Nigeria I went to a post in a Scottish university in one of its divinity faculties in Scotland. The Traditionally the ministry of the church was trained in the university, mm -hmm. not in separate seminaries. and. Um, there you, uh, first of all, I was struck by the curriculum in church history, which uh, was a first year of the early church, a second year the Reformation, <laughs> was the Church of Scotland's a reformed church, and the third year, Scotland. Uh, I mean, that's... <laughs> The limitations. That's church history. Right. And I, the contrast with what I'd seen of a really vigorous, viable Christianity, which there was no way ever of entering the curriculum. <laughs> it wasn't part of <laughs> the history of Christianity. Um, you, you might be able to say a little bit about missions, but missions doesn't cover it. Missions, yes, this was the activity of Western people in Africa. This wasn't the, this wasn't the church. And the people that I was training, supposed to be training for ministry, uh, what they realized was that the Church of Scotland has lost members every year since 1950. Wow. And it was to go on doing that. That trend has never been reversed. Right. Um, and they all knew that. They all knew that they were going to be up against it. Mm -hmm. Uh, with more and more difficulty keeping the church roof on. Mm. Uh, but there was no way they could uh, uh, absorb what was happening in uh, the world outside Scotland, mm. which could be invigorating and inspiring for them, could they only, uh, could they only know. A curriculum was meant to explain where we came from. Mm. It was about us as we are and how we got there. Mm. And um, so uh, th this, I think, was um, again a new sort of experience. Uh, and the realization that even the way we taught Christian history, which was my part, the same would apply to other theological disciplines, even the way we taught it 
was in fact obscuring mm -hmm. what the church was like, uh, was skewing it, the picture, uh, and that uh, uh, there was another story which needed to be told. Right. And probably, I, I mean, I would say there was not a, um, almost an intentional deference to that worldview. It's just more out of ignorance and more out of uh, just keeping to the tradition oh, of what has al already been, always been taught. Yes, uh, and I have to say, things were changing. The uni uh, another Scottish university had already appointed, well, see, he, he was called lecturer in missions. Mm. Uh, he was someone who'd had experiences in Central Africa very parallel to my own and uh, set things on a very different course. Uh, but what was happening at that time, I think we were just continuing in the way things had been without realizing what was happening to the church and what had happened to right. it. Okay. When you uh, attended uh, or began to teach at University of Aberdeen, I think was the first uh, post, you along with Harold Turner and I, I, I want to say Laman Sani, was he also on the faculty with you there? Or he, I know he was a student first at the University of a Aberdeen. Who were the, I guess the question I'm asking is, who were those colleagues of yours that, that embraced this kind of radical new idea to say we, we don't have the whole picture? Well, I think what happened there was that um, very much to my surprise, um, there was uh, a development in the university which changed things. Uh -huh. And it happened not in the Faculty of Divinity, but in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, mm. that we should be um, looking at the study of religion, mm. which had been what I was doing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, and the people who were demanding it were the people in the humanities who were finding now English professors were saying students can't understand Milton. <laughs> uh, the uh, uh, history students can't understand uh, the 16th century. Uh, uh, because, because of the decline of the things which had been part of ordinary understanding in uh, old Scotland were no longer there. Uh, uh, and they wanted some sort of basic training in religion, mm. uh, which would be available as a background okay. to uh, to others. And uh, quite a, uh, quite to my surprise, I found myself more or less catapulted mm. into the job of setting uh, setting this up. Um, at the same time, we were getting uh, you know, people who were talking about the uh, uh, civil service entry uh, and the foreign office man who said, I need people who can uh, help me with the Ayatollah Khomeini. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, so it gave an opportunity to make a new uh, start with how one would do it. Yes, we had a great opportunity which enabled us to uh, turn to the study of religion in Africa. Mm -hmm. Look at Christianity in Africa. Mm -hmm. Look at Islam in Africa. You mentioned Harold Turner, you mentioned uh, the Laminsani now at Yale. Uh, 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 yes, uh, Adrian Hastings, uh -huh. uh, late lamented historian, we were very fortunate in being very blessed in having a group of people who were 
first rate uh, at this business of interpreting religion and thus the place of the Christian faith mm. in this transformation. Mm.